Hi everybody, We're, I'm here with uh, Christian Phelps from San Diego Studios, checking out the new game Guns Up coming out. Um, Guns Up, what kind of game are we looking at here? Uh, so Guns Up is a twist on uh, tower defense meets a uh, kind of real-time strategy. So we, 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 it's, it's a unique uh, game, and that's the closest we've been able to find in terms of what people know. Right? It's a highly addictive game, it's a, it's a military-based game. Um, it's a it's a side-scrolling game, but more importantly, it's a game that once you start playing it, you get lost in it, and it's really hard to put the controller down. Okay. Now it's a multiplayer game. Is it a, a, a normal kind of multiplayer one-on-one, -on -one, or how does it work the multiplayer aspect of the game? Sure. So the way we've designed the multiplayer experience to be is asynchronous. So you'll have your home military base that you'll have built and curated. I'll have mine, and assuming we're um, of the same experience level based on the uh, kind of overarching uh, account level from a progression perspective, uh, we'll, th our matchmaking tool will put us, uh, will put me against your base and you against mine, but not real time, right? So you don't have to be there to defend your base. That's part of the curation and the creation of the, the ba of your base is you set up tents with troops and then I come in and I attack. Okay, uh, it's a free-to-play game also. Yes. Uh, what kind of uh, things can we expect to see in terms of paid items in the game? Is it going to be uh, more troops or is there going to be any kind of element that's going to give you an edge against the other player? Um, so it's definitely not going to be a pay to win. Um, in fact, if anything, with guns up, but people we're designing the game and building the game in such a fashion where pe people will be able to play this game all the way through and not necessarily have to spend anything. They'll have just as great an experience if, if they really love that RTS type of uh, experience and just want to grind away. So technically everything in the game will be available to them. Um, what we will offer is the opportunity to be able to enhance the gameplay experience for players. And exactly what we end up monetizing is why we're doing all of our closed betas. Because we want to understand, you know, where the player would like to be to spend money. And and then those are the areas where we'll make that possible for them. Okay. Um, is there any single player element to the game? There is. So what we're, we're not calling it a career mode, per se. We're calling it more a um, map challenge or challenges. You know, it's like I said, it's still in closed beta, so the actual naming uh, conventions could, could change. But the, the general idea is to give scenarios where, you know, the, as, you, as you play the game now, and what we have here today is simulating uh, the asynchronous multiplayer experience, and it scrolls from left to right. Well, in challenge maps, we have a lot more flexibility in being able to maybe have you dug in and having to defend on both fronts and trying to survive and outlast the enemy. So the, the goal being give uh, the player an opportunity to hone their, their strategy skills so that then when they are playing the multiplayer online, they're... Uh, they're able to apply some of the skills that they learned in defending their base in the challenge area and apply those against real people. Okay, will we see different kind of modes in the multiplayer then that are slightly based on the challenge modes or is that still in the works? No, uh, for, for multiplayer, where it will uh, be different is going to be everyone's, everyone's uh, camp layout is going to be completely different, right? Um, it, people will start off with different types of terrain and, and um, you know, rock formations, trees, things like that. Uh, we give the player the ability to completely wipe those out with dynamite and have a completely open area or use the environment as choke points 
so it can help with the defense, right? So it's going to be pretty straightforward when it comes to multiplayer. Where the twists will come is how creative can you be with your base, and what traps can you set that will set your your base apart and make it difficult uh, for people to come in and defeat it. You mentioned a closed beta. Is there any way to sign up for a closed beta for people now, or is it coming down the line? Yeah, so currently um, it, it is possible to sign up at gunsupgame.com. Uh, uh, now, uh, we're working on timing and working through all, all of the non-fun parts of making games, right? Uh, all the legal issues to make sure that um, we're protecting people's privacy. And we're hoping here to, in the next uh, couple months, roll out in the Europe region uh, the closed beta. Okay. And any plans for an open beta down the line? Or Absolutely. Absolutely. I think if, with, with games like uh, Guns Up, it's going to be absolutely critical. Um, we'll have several closed betas, and then ultimately leading into an open beta, where obviously we're going to try and attract as many players as possible. Okay. Uh, any timeline on when we'll be able to see the game in its full form at this time? Um, well, the team's uh, hard at work right now. Um, it's a small indie developer based out of Seattle, Washington. Um, they have a team of maybe eight and uh, are hard at work as, as we speak. So the, the goal is um, to ideally be able to go live, so be through all the different uh, private access and closed betas and, and the open beta and then uh, launch as a live product uh, sometime this year. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you very much. It's been very interesting to check out the game. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks.